Hello everyone and welcome to this session. In today's video, we will investigate the best strategy for generating IDs with Hibernate. So let's get started. For our demo, I have prepared this Spring Boot project featuring three GPE entities. The first entity utilizes UUID as the strategy for generating primary keys, with the ID type being string. I am testing this constellation because many developers make the mistake of defining UUIDs as strings, which, as we will see later, consumes more space in the database. In the second entity, I am using UUID as the strategy, but the type of the ID is UUID itself, in order to observe the differences compared to when using the string type. In the third entity, I'm employing sequence as the strategy and setting the allocation size to 200. This adjustment aims to reduce the number of round trips to the database required for generating IDs. After that, I created three repositories to perform the interaction with the database. For each entity, one repository. Then I created a service for each entity and defined the methods to create and save 1 million entities. I measured the time needed for entities creation and the time taken to save them, with the purpose of comparing the three different variants. To execute the three methods, I defined a controller with an endpoint where the three methods will be sequentially invoked. After starting the application and calling the endpoint, the results of the experiment are logged to the console. In the database, I check the size of the three created tables and their indexes. So let's interpret the result. It seems that using UUID as a strategy is faster than using sequences during creation time. This is evident because with UUIDs, the IDs are generated locally, eliminating the need for a round trip to the database. This stands in contrast to sequences, even when improved with the use of an allocation size set 200. Regarding optimizing the use of sequences, you can check out my video about it. Now to the needed space, UUIDs consist of two longs, which means they require double the space compared to the single long. On the other hand, saving entities with long IDs takes less time than UUIDs. This is because longs require less storage space and hence result in quicker database operations. So in my case, working with microservices and distributed system, the preferred primary key type turns out to be UUID. I hope you enjoyed this video and see you in the next one.